hey guys you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of seeing me you're welcome subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i post a new video in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this dress i made it using a, a net fabric and a cotton fabric so let's begin i folded my fabric into four i'm cutting out on the cotton fabric first so i just go ahead and mark out my starting line so what I'll do next is that I'll take the length of the dress, that is the length of the dress, and here I'll be coming up by one inch because you know I want the net to be one inch longer than the the cotton fabric. So my sh the shoulder measurement divided by two, the neck width, and of course half an inch for shoulder slope. So I'll just go ahead and connect the shoulder slope just like you see me doing so what i'll do next now is that i'll take the ample measurement divided by two if you don't know how to take body measurements i have a detailed video just click on this link here and of course after watching this video and you go ahead and watch the tutorial on how to take accurate body measurement for kids so here i'm going to go ahead to create the armhole curve if you have a French curve, you can make use of that. And here I'll be taking down the chest measurement divided by four. And I will go ahead and add about 1.5 inches sewing allowance. It's an it's a, an A-line dress, so I'll just go ahead and you know mark it out like that. And here I'll be coming down by two and a half inches for the front neck depth and one inch for the back neck depth. It's a circle neckline. I'll go ahead and add 0 0.5 inches allowance at the shoulder. So I'll just go ahead and trim the front neck and the front armhole. Cut it out with this uh, net fabric. So after cutting it out, I have something like this. I'll just set it aside. And here I'll be taking down the length of the sleeve. So that's going to be my starting line. And... I'll come down by 3 inches, I'll place my measuring tape like that to get the armhole measurement divided by 2 and I'll just go ahead and create the armhole curve or the sleeve curve, I don't know what it's called. So here I'll be taking the bicep divided by 2 and of course 1 inch sewing allowance. You can make yours to be shorter if you don't want it to be a bit long. Add your sewing allowance and notch the center of the sleeve. So here I'll get the dress and I'll go ahead. This is the back pattern of the dress. I'll go ahead and fold it into two. I'll clip the center of the neck, the back neck. So this is what I have here. This is the wrong side of the fabric. I'll go ahead and measure about three inches. We can go as down as four inches if you want, five inches, depends on you. Or how big the head of the baby or the girl or the child you are making the dress for how big the child's head is so this is just it and what I'll do now is that I'll be placing the wrong side of the cotton fabric to the right side of the net not the right side facing each other no wrong side of the cotton fabric and the right side of the net fabric so i'll just go ahead and transfer my line to the right side of the cotton fabric so i'll get one inch elastic cut it a little bit and i'll just you know put it like that because that is going to be the hoop for the button and i'll go ahead and stitch it down just like i showed you and here i'll go ahead and stitch it down this is the front and after stitching it down what i'll do is i'll go ahead and clip the neck and I'll turn it to the right side. So this is it. They are now the same length. But when I hem the cotton fabric, the net is going to be one inch longer than the net that the cotton fabric I mean to say. So here I'll go ahead and clip and I'll cut here. Make sure when you are doing this that you don't, you know, cut your seam. As it's going to be very painful. Clip these edges and, you know, turn the neck. So after turning it, you have something like this. This is the elastic. So I'll go ahead and turn the other one as well. 
So after turning it to the right side, I have now the right side of the curtain showing under the right side of the net. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. I'll go ahead and place them right sides facing right sides together like that. And I'll go ahead and hem the dress, the front. I'll only hem the cotton fabric. I'll go ahead and hem the cotton fabric for the back as well. I'll join the shoulders together and I'll go ahead and stitch down the sides. I'll be shaping it with one inch. So for the sleeve, I'll just go ahead and shape the sleeve with one inch. I won't be hemming the sleeve. I'll go ahead and, you know, attach the sleeve to the dress. And after doing that, this is what we have. As you can see, the cotton fabric is now longer than the net. So this is the back. What I'll be doing is I'll be attaching a button there. So this is just this. You see that it's very simple and easy to make. So guys, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. And until my next video, happy sewing.